So one of the things that I struggle with when I read an ebook is that it's hard to bookmark or notate or save things. And so when I'm using books from different sources, I kind of have different ways I do that. And I'm going to show you some of those today. On my screen right now, this is Libby. Um, it's the app for the library books. If I'm on Libby on my phone, I can highlight in the app. Um, I have not figured out when I'm on Libby on a computer screen, which I am for this video, how to highlight in here. I don't even see it as an option. Um, but let's imagine I'm highlighting just for proof of concept here. Um, if I were to borrow that book from Libby again, my highlights are still in there. They're saved. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of time limit on it, but I borrowed a book I borrowed a year ago and the highlights are still there. So that's cool. When I save those though, it's only useful if I have the book because obviously if I don't have the book checked out right now, I can't see those and they're not recorded anywhere else unless I go and take notes on it. If you're familiar with the Kindle platform, I'm just going to switch to a Kindle reader for a minute. This is Kindle's on the computer screen so that I can record it, but on your phone it works the same way. You can also um, highlight in here. So I could highlight a sentence and say highlight, or I could make a note. Goodreads is owned by Amazon, Kindle is owned by Amazon, and so those two platforms will communicate to each other. So if I'm in a Kindle book and I highlight it, if I go over to my Goodreads, this is the book I'm reading there, it shows me that I have highlights and I can look at those and bring them up. It takes a couple minutes for it to communicate back and forth, so right now it has both the highlight I did before I turned on this video and the highlight I just did two seconds ago. I really like this feature because then I can look back at the things I've highlighted or notes I've made about it. I can make these highlights public or not. I like most of my highlights as public because usually they're quotes that I find useful or tell you a little bit about the setting of the book. Um, tell you a little bit about what to expect without spoiling. And because I like this feature, the fact that I can't do that in Libby can be frustrating to me. So there's a few solutions that I have found in my use. The first, I'm in the United States, Libby can download the Amazon copy. And so I can read a book that I borrowed from my library on a Kindle device or in a Kindle app, highlight, and it communicates to Goodreads. So that's great. It's a way for me to get all my notes there and only use one device or one app to read in. So cool, that's a great option. But if you A, don't have a Kindle device, B, don't like the Kindle app, or C, aren't in the US or the country you're in, Libby doesn't allow you to do that, then how do you save your notes? So personally, I save my notes as progress. And I wanted to show you what that looks like. So in here, I can update my progress as I read a book. This is my Kindle example. This is my Libby example right now. If I update my progress, I can copy and paste, sorry, that's my screen capture, whatever words from here into my progress update. This progress field exists when I use Goodreads on my phone in a browser. So I'll just use my finger to highlight in Libby and hit copy and paste it right here. Um, when I do that, and I later on wanna go see it, I can. And I'm going to just pull up another book that I read in Libby yesterday um, and how those look. So this is the first of the series. I'm reading the second right now. If I view my book, these are my progress. It tells me like I shelved it way back in October and I didn't actually start reading until January. Um, that's when I manually turned it to currently reading. Um, I got about 30% in and I made notes. These are my personal notes. They are public because I share them publicly. Um, I made notes on the characters, like what their names are, because when I had a character named Cross and another character named Chase, two C names that are both short, I'm going to mix them up. So you can add your quotes in here, your notes to yourself, whatever. Um, and you can mark it as a page or as a percent. Because I use eBooks, I really like to use percent. I make my font really big, and so my page number is often very different than the real page number, but 37% of the way in, it gave a rundown of who the characters are, and I've noted that. So if you like reading in the Libby platform, but you want to be able to keep your notes, your highlights, whatnot, somewhere else, I find that using this section of Goodreads can be useful for that. I have not found a way to access the after notes, these reading progress notes after I finished a book, unless I'm on a computer. But if I do find a way, I will let you know. If you are a Kindle reader, let me bring up another book. Um, so I used the Italian as my example that I'm in today, just making highlights. 
but I'll go back and use another example that I made a larger um, progress in. So I finished reading the book Ruthless Creatures. Um, it was a prime reading book, so it was free to me. It was a great book, by the way. Um, in here, I rated the book. I didn't end up writing a review, but if I view my notes on it, um, these are quotes I liked. Somebody else highlighted these and I hit like on them. This is my reading progress. You'll notice that I didn't do a lot of updates. I was reading in the Prime app, so I didn't really need to. And then I also have 10 highlights from the book up here. All are visible. You can turn on and off highlights from public manually, but one by one. Um, like I like this, this was a quote I thought was funny. The dog has a bladder the size of an above ground pool. If he wasn't so solid, I'd think he had a hollow leg or two where he stores all his pee. There's no spoiler associated with this. I'm not worried about this being public or ruining the book for anybody, but I thought it was hilarious. And somebody who I'm friends with on Goodreads also thought it was funny. So I thought that worked out well. Um, it allowed me to um, interact with my community and with my friends on Goodreads. Um, but if there's something that I think is more personal, I can always turn it off so that others can't see it or so that I don't spoil the book for somebody. And I can do that by quotation and by notation so that I have limited access. All right, so anyways, I just think that that's a useful thing to know about because while I love that Libby saves everything that I've highlighted or noted or my bookmarks, if you don't wanna to have to reborrow the book or you know if the book is now on hold for 16 weeks, there's a good way to track that elsewhere.